Welcome to the exciting new podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. And I'm Ryan. I'm Andy. There he, there is. he is. I thought he was going to forget the sex something. I was like, oh. <laughs> Who's that oh, guy no, over there? I give, it a, I give it a little bit. Give it like a, I give it like a like a two count. For a it's like the Today Show when there's that like second delay, and you're like, oh my god, like don't be. Our delayed. special guest today, Anthony, all the way from Colorado to talk about Sleepaway Camp, rated R. A theatrical release date was November eighteenth, nineteen eighty three. Running time of an hour and twenty four minutes, just making it an, a, a full feature Barely. movie. That's because the credits went for like. 10 minutes also you always love when the halloween movies are released in the end of october this is the end of november <laughs> end of november sorry i meant to say <laughs> november yeah. directed by robert hiltzik his top four has sleepaway camp return to sleepaway camp and sleepaway camp Two: unhappy campers and the other one is toxic tutu <laughs> <laughs> he's a genius he's an auteur. oscar material is he still among us or not who, who he's cares still alive, okay. yes, yeah He's sitting back on all these sleepaway camp royalties, just like <laughs> smoking big fat cigars. And, and here's our uh, and He got a royalty from me watching that movie last night. Disturbs me to no end. Did you uh, watch it on Peacock? I watched it on Peacock. Yeah, I, I also get... I, I watched it on yeah. Peacock too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where well, you got it? Yeah. I want to know who needs Ocentrics. Is is Oc- I, I put that in my notes because I was like, why? Yeah, why? You oh, Tesla. That? Oh, Tesla, because I got a three-minute commercial at the beginning. It just I said, didn't get any commercial no, wait, from it last night. Wait, I had what's a commercial in the beginning, and then that was it. No Whatever, 180 minutes, what, 180 seconds. That's a, yeah, three-minute commercial. Yeah, so I got, it. it said 180 seconds. Oh, Tesla was the first commercial, and then there were a bunch of other little commercials, and then there was no Tesla at the at the last commercial. It's like, who needs a Tesla so I much? I didn't and, need, I, and I don't even know what it's for. It could, like, save lives, but I'm just like. Man, they're really like pumping this stuff. I didn't pay stuff. attention and, to the commercials, but that's really how think, mine was in the beginning, and then I didn't have I think anything I walked for the away, rest of yeah. But I just thought it was funny I had no that commercials. When you're O'Tesla, and you're like, I want to put my money into you, Peacock, they don't want to be before Sleepaway Camp. <laughs> <No, laughs> they're not helping our no, product no. here. <laughs> our internet movie database description, Angela Baker, a shy, traumatized young girl, is sent to summer camp with her cousin. Shortly after her arrival, anyone with sinister or less than honorable intentions toward her gets their comeuppance. Anthony, when yes. you're going to take a drink, just take a drink. Don't hold your mic. It sounded like a... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good. Is that what that was? I, I looked. What I'm what like, what the hell too. was that? And I saw you holding your mic. Don't do that. You can edit that out, right? <laughs> yes. But don't edit this conversation. <laughs> no. <laughs> I might not add it out. <laughs> nah, yeah, you got to keep it in. After a horrible boating accident kills her family, shy, sullen Angela moves in with her eccentric Aunt Martha and protective cousin Ricky. One summer, Martha sends the kids to Camp Arawak. Soon after their arrival, bizarre, increasingly violent accidents claim the lives of various campers. Who is the twisted individual behind these murders? The disclosure of the murderer's identity is one of the most shocking climaxes in the history of American cinema, and I agree. I agree with that. I 1,000% agree. I didn't see that coming at all. When this movie started and they were doing the creepy, just panning around the the, the, um, the campus of the, the, the camp. The empty camp. Yeah. Before the movie even started. When it was uh, abandoned? It, it was a, like... It you didn't, didn't look know, that abandoned. Well, you didn't know this movie was like a flashback because all of a sudden it went to before any of this happened. But there were times where it looked like they filmed it in the early spring and then the fall, like between buildings, it was like nice and green, lots of leaves on trees. And then they pulled the camera over here and it was like, all the leaves are brown. And all the off leaves the are brown. All the leaves are it's brown. Like they couldn't get that all in one shot, could they? <laughs> and the sky is good. And the sky is never mind. There you go. I was hoping somebody would take the high. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not taking I got a few taglines here. You'll go there on a bus and come back in a bag. Nice. Uh, mm-hmm. Dear mom and dad, I've been at sleepaway camp for almost three weeks now, and I'm getting very scared. That was actually being written yep, right here. I have it on the front. Oh, yeah. When I when I went when the movie actually ended and it was just the screen of the movie that was written that- out as I'm. Um, I didn't click on anything else. I was like, oh, someone's writing a letter. Let's see what happens here. And <laughs> Someone is watching you. Someone is waiting for you. Someone wants to scare you to death, literally. The camp's activity for today? Murder. Hmm. <laughs> summer camp has never been so scary. A nice place for summer vacation. A perfect place to die. 
This puts this place puts the rip in R and R. R I P. The rip. Oh, jeez. Carrie meets Friday the Thirteenth. It was definitely Friday the Thirteenth. This felt like a Friday the Thirteenth movie. This yeah. felt very yeah. Uh, like the Friday camp, the and this is actually ballsier than Friday the 13th because it took them till episode. It felt like meatballs well, as well. Yeah, I was going to say Friday the 13th, I think eight? No. Six? That's Jason Takes Manhattan. Well, I was going to say Friday. one of them had kids at the camp. Oh, yeah, it was Jason Lives, six. They had kids at the camp. It took them till six to actually have kids at the camp. This one had kids at the camp in the first one. Yeah. And those kids were in danger. Except that they're, the only nudity was boys asses there was no girl nudity which is understandable since a lot of the girls were 14 yeah the girl that oh, played, I say had penises but the girl that <laughs> I played just, Felissa, i wasn't sure what you were going there the girl that played angela it was felissa rose she was only 14 at the filming of this movie so it's crazy man that's yeah. crazy that they got someone that young to play Her top four you want to try it uh, but, no. and i'm not really going to do this because this game, a lot of these people have a top one and top two. I was going to say, are they Sleepaway <laughs> Camp and Sleepaway Camp 2? Is that But it? she was only in Sleepaway Camp. She wasn't in any of the sequels. But she has um, Krampus, The Devil Returns, uh, Cerebral Print, The Secret Files. Oh, she's actually in Return to Sleepaway Camp. So. Of course she is. Um, she probably came back as a counselor to counsel people on how I they got say, killed. I want to say she does a lot of the uh, chiller theaters and does monster she? manias. Yeah, she's hot. Is and, she? Brian just said that uh, Christine's sister. Cousin, uh, sister went to school with her. Yeah, Our yeah. Lady of Mercy. Remember, Christine was talking really? about that last week on the uh, Christine podcast. Uh, yeah. And you need to get her face tattooed right now. Oh, her. That face, that screaming this face. One? Yeah. Uh, this the, is where whatever. I was going to put the attendant or the uh, limousine driver. For, uh, oh, oh, the, uh, from, from, the from Burnt from Offerings. offerings. Yeah. yeah, but I think but you should I get put her, her maybe in here. I think you need to get her yeah, face here. tattooed on you. That, here, maybe, that so. <laughs> creepy ass face at the end there. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, Mel, he died um, August 26, 1983. He died right before it came out. Mel was Damn. the camp, the he owner. Was the older guy, yeah. Yeah. The guy he, that had a cigar. He looked, he looked cigar. familiar to me. I've seen him in other things. Did he really? You might maybe in your dreams. I don't know. You man. might remember him from Nightmares. Midnight Express. Ah, uh, maybe. Or the Boston Strangler, possibly the jazz singer. Yeah, Didn't Anthony, see Anthony saw singer. all those movies, man. He knows exactly. Uh, but who yeah, he guy. died right before because the movie came out in November. He and died. How old was, was he? Like sixty-one. He died from lung cancer. Oh, like, that I, cigar was something that he had done. He he was smoking that cigar in every scene, but. Not even smoking it, just had it in his hand a lot of times. Although but he was going to get some Meg. I first. know, he, he, he didn't get to have He was going to get to have some Meg, but she got killed in the shower. Why did Meg want him? Yeah, I did not understand that. No, I don't think anyone did. Because <laughs> not only was it old, but his, his lips were all fucked up. She was like pursuing him. Yeah. She was hot. You said you were going to yeah. take me out to dinner. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> Where was dinner that game? Yeah. Oh yeah, he he was dressed like Rodney. He had those green pants on. He had the checkered the pants white shoes. on. The, the white, white shoes. shoes. <laughs> you can almost hey, hear him say, "Like, have you seen?" He's like, she said he's she like was golf courses in children's camps. The worst race, worst. Ah, fuck, I <laughs> fucked it up. You just screwed up. I had I had it going and I lost. I was it. letting him have God it. God damn it! I was getting ready to say, "Hey everybody, we're all gonna get laid." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I had it last night too. I practiced even. <laughs> I made him spit out his drink. <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> we got that on tape or we recorded it. <laughs> Perfect. Do you want to go through any more of the cast? I mean, is there anybody even no. to talk about? Michelle kept no. saying that Paul was Paul the, the boyfriend or the guy that was yeah. with her. Yeah. She kept saying he looks so familiar, looks so familiar, I, but I, I, I thought he was in the man. I thought he was the guy. From the the main caddy from Caddyshack, I looked it up. Like, no, nope, different guy, definitely no, not. different guy. Caddyshack was before but, this, and he was I know much younger. I know, <laughs> I, uh, I, know. I, guy, I got my timeline screwed up. The guy playing Mel was Mike Kellen. He said it was his final film, obviously, but he was sick during filming. But he did his best to conceal it. He died of lung cancer in August of eighty three, three months before the films. Good honey, movie. honey, I got to get this gem out before I croak. <laughs> You're gonna be living off my inheritance from this sleepaway camp royalties you got to get from me. <laughs> and by the way, did she throw the arrow at him and it went through in through his neck and out at the back of his spine? I don't think arrows can be thrown that I never know because I never saw a bow. Fast. I never saw a bow. But you just saw it in her hand, and yeah. then it was just like through his neck. And I'm like, did she throw it at him? That like, there's no way that thing would penetrate his neck if you threw it at him. 
It said here Willie Cuskin, who plays one of the bullied campers, was genuinely bullied by the other kids during filming. Frank, Aww. Frank Trent Saladino, who played a camp counselor, had to step in when the other cast members took things too. Far. I wonder if that was Mozart, the one that was getting the shaving cream on him and stuff I, like that. I, I'm, and he was look, playing the video game boxing. Oh my god! Sh- but then he caught the ball. <laughs> he caught it. I couldn't believe one he of caught my, the ball. One of my notes here is every kid at this camp is a dick. <laughs> That's yeah. how camps are, Brian. Did you ever go to camp? No. Every kid's a dick. Oh. That's why I didn't send my kids to camp because I was like, listen, <laughs> I don't want you to be a dick and I don't want you dealing with them until you're like 18. Like when they when the cousin Ricky pulled her out of the water and they were walking off yep, the dock and are. those little kids are throwing, throwing sand. sand at her. Okay. I have something to say about that when we get to that point because. Oh, we're at that point. That, we're at that. Okay. The kids throwing sand was such a nondescript off to the side thing and they all got and they all got chopped apart and chopped like, apart this movie wait a minute. chopped up little wait, kids in it wait, i was wait, shocked it by was that so, it was so i didn't understand i'm like well why did the kids get all chopped up i had to read the wikipedia oh no because they were dicks mari mari looked at the Wikipedia. she goes oh it makes more sense now you read the wikipedia thing i'm like Oh, the, oh my God! This explains everything. You need to watch the DVD with the commentary going, I guess, uh, to figure out this. I actually hard thought it was to follow a, plot. A separate murderer, because how did she kill the little kids when she was killing Meg at the camp, and then they were a car ride away? I mean, in the do woods. Do we want to get into this? I mean, you probably have to see Sleepaway Camp too to get all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when when right. when Judy got killed in her bunk and the door opened. And the person that is doing the murdering is standing right there. That was not the girl. That yeah. was the boy. That was Ricky standing there in a wig. And I was like, wow, I don't remember this being like a two killer kind of operation. But did you notice, though, when I don't Angela think it was asked Paul to come down to the waterfront. Her hair was all puffed out and shit. But I'm telling it was you, suppo- it was. A, I know, but it was that supposed scene to when look she like killed Judy, was, <laughs> that was not I'm, her face. That was I a boy's that. face. And let's talk that, about how it, she killed Judy. Which one? Judy was the one that With she the curling iron. Oh, the curl, curling, curling iron. And they did the curling shadow iron. Yeah, in the cooler. They had off camera <laughs> for a reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they couldn't show that one. Why not? I mean, it was they showed the shadow of it. So because what, she took, shove it up her? She, she shoved it up her. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Did, she did opened they, the clip first and then I, shoved I, it I mean, we had assume that that's what she did because they yeah. didn't show anything that would. That's what I assume. I was hoping they were going to show a. Like naked gun style sheet over the body and just the curling iron. Can we talk about at a forty five degree <laughs> angle sticking how she, out was, of her. how she was killing them? Because like some of the they had like those like bumps and like they're like bites and stuff. Well, the guy that got eaten everything. by the the bees. Like yeah. first of all, how did she know he was allergic to bees? And secondly. How did he allow ten thousand bees to sting him? Even when you're taking I, a shit, yeah. you got to jump up. Explain to me how he didn't jump off the toilet and jump over the damn exactly, wall. Exactly, right? Under, you can go bees under. It's, a, it's a wood door. You That's one shoulder into it. You're getting out if of that I thing. See, and there if were I no see bees. one bee, yeah, if I see one bee, I scream like Flanders. I'm jumping over walls, man. <laughs> and I don't know why she killed some of those guys. That guy with the bees, I'm not sure. Like, he was I, just being a dick. Paul yeah, liked, but like there were Paul so many them, dicks. You know, and Paul was yeah. actually into her. You and, know? But the kid that got drowned under the canoe, I was like, he was, just a, he was just an idiot. I was like, why is she? Well, this, is, this is a kid that got drowned. Oh, okay. Yo, Angela, how come you're so fucked up? Oh, is that why she killed him? Because <laughs> he's right there. Oh. So far. Okay, all right. All right. Because I was kind of sh- like, when when she killed him, I'm like, why is she killing that him? That might right be my now? favorite line from the movie, dude. <laughs> yeah. every, it- time, every time Angela was, was taunted, I'm like, he did. He did. But she didn't he kill did. all the people that. No. Like we're mean to her, just selective people that were mean to well, her. Well, there were a few that were actually really nice to her too. There was a couple of those counselors who were super nice to her, like Gene. Was Gene, Gene the uh, short shorts? Short short he was one with the super short. short I kept short calling one. him Carmine Ragusa. I was like, "It's Carmine." He came over. He was like, <laughs> "Hey, yo, what's up over here? Hey, <laughs> hey, let's take her into the kitchen and get her something to eat, okay? Like she's like hungry over here." Here's one of my no- notes about uh, those things: is uh, short shorts on men. Lots of balls hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> I felt a lot of them. If they fell on the ground, there was going to be a lot of packages being exposed. Uh, that when they played softball, that homoerotic softball game that they played, like there's not, there's been no more homoerotic sporting event and set the film since uh, 
Top Gun's volleyball scene, but I couldn't believe <laughs> all the half shirts and the, the ass half. padding and the oh the half shirts the were, half, the half shirts were, they were quarter, quarter shirts, shirts. Yeah. and, quarter and shirts. their variety of colors. Like if you went out right now to a softball field and saw a bunch of guys playing, it's gray, blue, and black, maybe white. Those guys were like bright red pants and and aqua shirts and their hats were all ridiculous. They were all those big foamy trucker hats, which. In 1983, were probably the style, but oh my one god, one kid had a JB, hat which was the style of JB then. hat on. Yeah. Angela doesn't speak her first line until 31 minutes until the into the film. And why didn't she say, "I'm Angela, you do win"? She also made five thousand dollars for her role in this. Movie. Because based on what I saw at the very end of this movie, Angela has already gone through puberty, so I don't know why her voice is not. So, yeah, like she does not have a yeah. man's voice in this. No spoilers for the people who haven't seen the movie. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you're watching this, <laughs> listen to this video, not watching the movie, then we're eventually going to spoil it anyway. But um, I'll, I'll put on the uh, the you know the explanation. Spoilers contain. <laughs> watch this movie. <laughs> watch so, this movie before listening. Watch yes. this movie before listening. Yes. Going back to. Hey, Angel, let's go to the kitchen and uh, find you something to eat. Why do you want to go about, there, Anthony? What's, what's going on there? Let, Let's talk about Chef. Yeah. Chef Artie? Artie. One of the, one of the, one of the best one-liners from wait, Chef. And was wait, for the very chef, wait for what? Listen to this, Aunt. Look at all that young, fresh chicken. Ah, you took it away from Where me. Where I come from, we call them baldies. Makes your mouth water, don't it? It's your mouth water. It's your mouth water, <laughs> don't it? The young, fresh chickens. Even Ben said it. I don't think these girls even know what you got on your mind. And these, and and he didn't even die. I mean, he got horribly burned, which might be worse. But oh wait, he really did get hurt though. Listen. And that's th- not even all of it. I think that was <laughs> the best acted scene in this movie because the acting in this was horrendous. I didn't think they were ever going to stop. <laughs> that was what, 30, 35 seconds of scream? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that and wasn't even saw, all of it. And that wasn't all You of saw it. his face bubbling and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> Oh, it was it was pulsating. It was pulsating. <laughs> ben just stood there looking at him. Ben was like, I'm getting an extra he $50 said, a week. boy, that must hurt. <laughs> it's like everyone, like when the dad got killed and, and the boyfriend was on the... And all he they did was when they panned oh, to him, talk was about staring that. at him. <laughs> By the way, the boyfriend part, like that whole thing, like you that dream didn't, sequence. Well, you didn't know that he was his boyfriend until much later, but yeah, why wow, to drop that in all of a sudden? Like, right. and that's fine, but in 1983, I'm sure that was not fine that <laughs> these two gay men were raising these children. I was like, wow, Mike. This movie is super progressive, yeah. except for the fact that I don't know if they were trying to be. <laughs> that was the that was what confused me later on in the film is when they were on the lake and the guy who saw the axe, he's like, I forget the father's name. He goes, Oh yeah, he's like, Hey Ben, God. you got a phone call. <laughs> and that's it. And then and then fast forward to the dream sequence. I'm like, I didn't realize it was the same person. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm really con- I, had I don't know if that was a dream sequence or a flashback. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite back. sure with what the that spinning was. bed and the yeah, kids. where the, mm-hmm. the kids yeah, were like right. pointing at each other and doing whatever and that was. Yeah, but yeah, uh, the fact that they outed those two men at that point, I was like, oh, I'm like, so why didn't the other the the you surviving talk about the boat accident? <laughs> sure, why didn't the surviving husband get the kid? Yeah. I don't think that they were raising them. Together. I think that was just his gay lover. I don't think it was... uh, you might be right. Yeah, and I... in 1983, they're not going to let. Even if they were, you're right. In 1983, they're not going to let a gay man take possession of a child. I mean, it was upstate New York, but it wasn't that progressive. Yeah, I, I, I forgot where we were in the timeline of the world. <laughs> the kid that, the kid that let the girl ride the boat, drive the boat. Oh my God! Turn around oh, and look. Recipe, for, recipe for disaster, right? Well, there. when yeah. both eyes are off the wheel for like ten <laughs> seconds, yeah, but they had, <laughs> she had plenty of time to turn, and he stood there, plenty and he sat of time. There and he's like, turn, turn the wheel. And when you turn the 
<laughs> I mean, it was seriously that was a scene out of Austin Powers with just the oh, totally. screaming <laughs> stop, and they keep driving right at them. Oh my god, it was you're terrible. Like, no, you're gonna hit them. No. <laughs> there was time for all that dialogue. <laughs> Marty, I have something to tell you about the future. <laughs> Uh, no, I have something to tell you about your future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, Angela, uh, who we now know as Angela, was floundering and looked like she was drowning. She had a life vest on. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. I didn't pick up on that. Uh, um, um, the girl who played uh, Angela and uh, the kid who played Ricky developed a romance during filming, but they broke up soon ooh. after. He was 17. She was 13. She was. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, was wow. I guess that's still. I guess that's kind of legal. Kind of legal. In 1983, it's she said she 100% had to wear, legal. She wore a bra designed to keep her breasts flat as a board, though she joked that she was only 13, so there wasn't much to flatten. But I've seen her at these <laughs> uh, uh, conventions, and she's got a lot to flatten, let me tell you. <laughs> Maybe not when she was 13 years Felissa, old. Felissa, come on the I'm podcast. I'm really shocked they cast a 13-year-old in that role, man. Yeah, they usually go for um, somebody that's 18, at least. And looks 13, yeah. Well, and I, that's why there was no nudity. I'm sure that's her. what Artie was going for, too, an 18-year-old that looked 13. But didn't she look like 11? She looked like a child, for sure. No, I mean 11 from Stranger Things. Oh, oh. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, she looked a lot like 11. Yeah. Did she? Yeah, yeah. I guess now that you think about it, yeah, I could see that. She just looked like a young girl. A strange young girl. Well, you uh, all your young girls are strange. Girl, I get it. Stranger things. Wow. I get what he was doing there. I get it. So when I already got went. burned by that water, that pot. How many gallons oh, was that the pot? Enormous. Was that a thousand <laughs> gallon pot? I'm like, are you cooking all of that corn at one time? I've never seen that a pot, pot like I've that. Never seen a pot that big either. I pot. said to Michelle, I was like, how did they fill that thing? Like, how did you get that up there? And now, once you got it up there, how are you getting it off? How are you getting it off? Because even if you put all the corn in there, that thing's going to weigh a thousand pounds. That was five foot tall, that pot. <laughs> oh my God, it was ridiculous. I, I can't, I've never seen anything like that before. I was thinking, like, like once I saw it, I was like, that's going to be how he dies. And I was like, how are they going to get him into the pot? <laughs> <laughs> well, he had to salt it a lot. What's up, Ant? Sorry. Have you not heard of the concept of suspension of disbelief? Come on now. <laughs> that pot had to be made for a reason. They, they, they bought was, that off the was, shelf. Like, they, didn't, they didn't buy that for yeah. the movie. That that pot existed being, in the real world. <laughs> they, being the good Italian that I am, the first thing that I thought of is I can make a load of sauce in that thing. No, no way. I mean, like, Sunday how many sauce. tomatoes you put in that thing? Like a thousand? There's 5, no way. There's no way you're. No one's was cooking the biggest, in that tallest thing, yeah. pot I've ever seen. I have to no one's cooking in that thing. And you're not doing it well either. Um, young Peter, remember who played that? Or you saw, remember the person, you remember that role, the person playing young Peter in this uh -huh. movie? Is that Angela's it's, brother? It, it's played, uh, yeah, played by Maximo Gianfranco Sorrentino, the older brother of Mike, the situation Sorrentino of wow. MTV's Jersey Shore. Wow. How about uh, that? Yeah, and here I got the, some audio from, from the kids. Can we go to the camp in summer? I bet they show us there. Well. Ooh. Show us <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> the New York accent. Oh, they, this thing was ripe with. They had a must have had a casting call in New York City saying, "Bring us your worst, terrible accented actors." Well, Long Island. This was definitely Long Island. The acting in this was abysmal. I mean, it was, oh, it was shockingly terrible. terrible. Christine sounded like that when I first met her. Uh, she's. Dips back into that when she gets high or drunk. Yeah, 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 yeah I've heard. Um, <laughs> for Artie's severe burn sequence, the actor was propped up on a fake floor, and underneath, liquid gelatin was pumped through the blisters, giving the impression that they're pulsating. <laughs> the, the, the paramedic talked about that. Awesome. The who was working on who industrial carry... lights and magic doing the special effects <laughs> on this thing? I hate when they cut you off. You know what I mean? <laughs> You you have a whole paragraph over there. Well, let Get me it finish done. what I'm saying first. Now it's over. Now I right. I'm not even going to give it because it doesn't make sense now. I would have played back to your thing about the paramedics. Oh, Those real life paramedics were on the set here, which would have been like your brother or brother in law. Brother in law. Brother in law. Yeah. So they used real paramedics here as well. <laughs> that must be a movie thing. Or probably just like an easier thing. And then if you have them on set, if something happens to. Right. right i mean so That's true. they could be like on set for that and then hey come on in here real quick yeah. <laughs> bring come your film bring your film equipment this scene you. bring your equipment with you <laughs> i'm watching the trailer right now on on peacock and i'm just shaking my head 
You're watching it now. <laughs> I'm watching. This. I got two screens going. I got to watch it on this side and watch you guys on the other side. And I'm just shaking my head and laughing. What's your favorite part of the trailer? My favorite part of the I trailer like when, is I actually like when the voice comes on. The, when the voice the comes on, it's hysterical. But it's actually voice. it's actually the still. The ant freaks me out and enthralls me at the same time. Oh yeah, I got her. The ant is so. Just so be careful up. not to tell anyone how you got them. Oh, no, no, I'm afraid that they wouldn't approve that, of that at that all. That wouldn't work at all. Even though they know that I am a doctor. <laughs> I put the string on my finger. She was the worst. She had man hands in the in the history of movies. She was terrible. <laughs> oh, she was absolutely yeah. terrible. She was the one. But that, I, she's but I think that was the. Ahead, I think I'm that sorry. was the point. That was the point. And yeah. She was like supposed to be like way off kilter. You know, now that I know, I, one of my notes is what the hell is wrong with Angela? Because I, I wrote that early on when every time they went to her and she's just staring. If people are talking to her and she's just staring, <laughs> like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? She's autistic. So many things wrong with this movie. <laughs> A shot of de- a shot of dead Judy was cut by the MPAA for being much too grisly. Wow, she was only in one movie, Judy. She had a top one. <laughs> I have a body count for this movie. Do we want to guess the total body count? Uh, twelve. Here right, we got twelve. Ten. Are we counting people like? killed in the water at the beginning of the movie i didn't do the count think, myself i'm taking it from from the site i saw i think it's on. yeah i think it's total kill like it's tough because those sleeping bags were all hacked up. i don't think everybody died, and i don't think all of them there died. there were four sleeping bags well, i don't there, think all of them were killed well, there were a lot well those two kids said they were cold and they went back but the rest of them all got hacked up <laughs> i'm gonna say 15 and the answer is 13 wow oh. Yeah, I don't. I I didn't do the count myself, so I'm not sure if they counted those people or didn't. I just took an educated yet. guess. Not that I'm educated, but I just took an educated the guess, guess. The guess was educated. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> I put in my notes. Can we move this along? And I don't know why I put that in there, unless I got to the, the point mo- in the movie the where along? I was like, "Can we move this?" I, I'm not sure if someone what? said that or I don't Every know why. Scene. I put, Can we move this along? In the- my Every notes. scene in this movie was about ten seconds too long. It's like, all right, I get it. Moving on. I mean, except for the the boat accident at the beginning, no one got killed till like oh. halfway through the movie, and oh, that was the boating accident was <laughs> way the, too long. I'm trying to remember something out of another movie. Oh, it was uh, it was uh, if you remember Blue Harvest, where the the tie fighter coming in and coming in and coming oh, in okay. and coming yeah, in. It yeah. took forever. It's like it's like all right, already. They had um, Jane Krakowski was originally cast as Judy, but she oh, dropped man. the role once she learned of Judy's death. She found it too grisly. That's the second <laughs> time that I've said getting grisly. a seared cooter. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid that played Paul, the kid that played Paul had a latex version of his head created for the final scene. And someone on the set took the head, but they don't know who has <laughs> Probably so somebody's got that. Somebody's got the head on a shelf at home. That's somewhere. a cool. Uh, that doesn't pop cool up on eBay. That collection. Right? That is. That is some epic. That's uh, an Andy's basement right stuff. over here. He's got. I don't have Paul's head. <laughs> we need. Surprise! You have everything else. Head replica. Yes. <laughs> so one of my notes here is when they were talking in the kitchen after the pedophile got carted out already yeah when they uh mel was talking to uh ben. staff <laughs> the disgusting fly strips everywhere oh, they were everywhere in the kitchen everywhere oh, was... full have you, of flies have you never worked in the kitchen in the summer <laughs> in <the> anywhere <laughs> <laughs> i just can't believe that they got so many in all the shots oh uh, yeah because they're everywhere I can, t- <laughs> yeah. I can tell you at one point after the chef, the, after chef died, they had a close up of uh, children with that chef. I forget children. who it was. <laughs> well, on the shelf, there was something crawling up on the shelf, and I'm like, "Is that supposed to be there?" I'm like, "Wait, what, I know. I actually notice bugs on people, and I'm like, "Is yeah, that is moving. that on my screen or is that on them?" I'm yeah. like, "Oh, that's on them." But that's because that my intentional because that's my my 4K TV picking up, it up. their yep. zero K filming yep. of this because this movie looked awful there were times in this movie where it looked like they had 
bleached over the filming and it was all washed out when they're outside, especially. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so terrible. So, and speaking of bugs, when that one killed got kid got killed by the bees, the bees, and it bees. was the tiny, you know, tiny little beehive that dropped in there. Yeah. Then there were no yeah. bees, and then he was covered with fifty thousand. And they had made these <laughs> deep ass wounds in him already. Holes That's in how the, in him. I'm like, the holes where did they come from? All these kids, weird. and even the kid in the canoe. The next day, he was decayed for like three weeks uh, overnight. And honestly, how does he not fight off a thirteen year old girl when he's getting drowned under a canoe? Yeah. yeah, I mean, really, she just pushed his head underwater, and his hand was like this. Oh, oh. <laughs> most of these people should have been able to f- when you find out who the killer is it, now you're like every Wait, one of these people should have i think we should tell who people. the killer is now let's let who wants to do the announcement <laughs> <laughs> well i want to say that paul whenever he talked to her hi he, angela angela what are you doing today angela angela are we going to go Your to the dance Ricky angela said hello. i was like are they going to make us know this girl's name so much that at the end when they say oh my god the killer's angela i'm like i've heard that name a thousand times already Ten times oh my god every sentence began and ended with angela but I thought the angela was Peter. what are we doing today angela <laughs> Angela, we going to the cafeteria. Angela, Angela, you going to the dance? Angela? We already have a boy, Peter. <laughs> Having another boy around just wouldn't be right now, would it? And I, I heard Michelle talking about this, and Christine had a real when hard did you hear time. Michelle talking about this, uh, not about that, about the cop's mustache. Oh my god, I have oh, cop's mustache oh, oh, in my notes. I was going to say that. I, was, I have that written down. Goodness. His have laughably down. terrible <laughs> fake oh mustache. My god. I have laughably fake mustache on the cop. Yes, Christian couldn't stop talking about it. it. Was I mean they didn't even get a good prop. They got a. They got, store. That, they, they got some they of got that store. They got some of that general. They got some of the fly strip paper from the yes. kitchen, put it on there, and just threw pubic hair. At it, it. it looked like There's a bad mustache. version of a Groucho Marx mustache. Yeah, it was terrible. And Groucho Marx mustache was and terrible. And then they did a big zoom in on him. I'm like, don't yeah. they see what's happening here? <laughs> Didn't match his hair. I guess when you're watching this on 480 and not 4K, it's a little different. Yeah. But yeah, oh my v- god, when you're watching it on VHS, yeah. <laughs> Some of this looked VHS, almost like I didn't get the uh, top what and tracking. bottom tracking thing. But at one point, it just went all white, kind of lines across the screen. I'm like, am I watching a copy off a of VCR tape on this <laughs> Peacock version of my movie? <laughs> Having just getting a 4k tv which i did recently and finally and watching this movie i was like the there's so many there's so much i i, I saw so much more than i normally would have i the bugs i yeah. feel bad for ugly old people myself included oh. that now have to be appearing on a 4k tv and they're like <laughs> i listen can you add more vaseline to the lens please because i am not prepared well, for all these what? k's you're on 720 in this feed, and you look wonderful. So, Aww. well, I'm, I'm I have so a fa- sweet. I have a face for 720. Once you get over <laughs> yeah. one, one K is no good for me. That's it. And four no K. Just imagine when it's eight K. Oh my oh, god, my. I'll blind people. <laughs> one of the other um, one-liners that that just stuck out to me. It, somebody was yelling at Ricky at some point, and he's like, "Eat shit and die, Ricky." And he looks back and he goes, "Eat shit and live." Yes. Yeah. Nice. That was a good he one. Should, Ricky didn't live. Ricky was really like the badass to like he, he was standing up to all the tough guys, wasn't he? Get down here. Get down here when they threw the water balloon at Angela. Like he is just tell way you, too overprotective over a water balloon at a camp. I was just, now did Ricky was, know that she was a boy? He must have, right? No, Spoiler no, yeah. alert. That's oh. it. We just that we we just now announced that. The Angela Have is we a not voice. announced that already? We had not mentioned it. We that had not that. gotten mentioned already? Oh. Well, Andy doing Angela's voice like this. <laughs> <laughs> kind of kind of telecasted the whole. He yeah. was doing like the uh, girl on Family Guy. <laughs> when she laughs. And... <laughs> <laughs> All because the deranged aunt wanted a girl. Yep. She couldn't have two boys around. That just wouldn't be right. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh. When I have in my notes here, when Mel goes looking for Meg, he's like, where's, <laughs> I can't even read my notes for that. Like, where's Meg? I'm I, supposed I, to get away. I said, where's <laughs> Meg? I wore my best golf clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and when Paul's out in the woods looking for Angela, I guess it's the part where he dies, but who even fucking knows? Like, it's very quiet. And he's like, Angela, because he said it every time, Angela, I'm out here, Angela. Angela, where are you? Angela, rip my head off. When he did, when he did not speak, I am telling you, I heard 
like monkey sounds in the background. Oh, there's like there's like one of my ooh, one of my notes ooh, too. Ooh, ooh. I'm like, where are is this taking place in not America? Like, why are there monkeys in the woods? They were right next. To, <laughs> they were right next to Kiko's monkey. Farm. I was thinking they might be near Great Adventure, and they and they there's just had the baboon farm. tank there or something like All that. All the but... night sounds were from like a jungle. <laughs> it sounded crazy. <laughs> there was like. Ooh, 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 I'm like, they I don't the think that's movie. what a New Jersey uh, or just New York, New Jersey, wherever free. it is. Those were the sounds that were free. So. <laughs> <laughs> Even back then, they had that queued up Public on their, domain uh, sounds. On their <laughs> cassette player. Just like play those monkey sounds. <laughs> Chico's monkey farm. <laughs> I had in here, why are the girls' rooms all rolled up when Meg went to take a shower? When she yeah. got the knife in the back all the yeah. way through. I'm a like, very why? slow knife in the, the back. Oh, down. my God. It took so long to get through and her. And down. Screaming. And down. You, you and think, but, you, but think you would back screaming. off that. Like, <laughs> eh, that Just hurt. Move. Yeah. That hurt. <laughs> she's a, a 13 year old. She's barely, she's barely screaming. She's like, ah. A 13 year old ah, just stabbing me in the back. I might just I'm, bounce yeah. off that and say, ouch, stop like, doing uh, that. Stop but, it. But all the uh, bedding was rolled up. I'm like, why is all the bedding rolled up? But I forgot that. All the kids got sent home except for the victims. So yeah, it was sad. They all had to go home. Arnie's not Arnie. Arnie's not Arnie. here to molest all those young girls <laughs> or boys. I'm sure he would be into boys yeah, too. Yeah, he seems oh, yeah. like it. He's the last bastion. Hey, what are you it... doing back here? You like, didn't see nothing. I tell you, you didn't see nothing. Like we can still make fun of child molesters, right? You can't make fun of anybody else, but child molesters are fair game still, right? Until they get protected. Ten years from now, you're gonna be like, "Why are you making fun of him? He's just a child molester." Yeah, be he's like, got "Oh, a problem. Oh, sorry, sorry. He's got a problem." Hey, hey, you don't know what he went through. He was probably <laughs> raped as a kid, and now he's doing the yeah. raping. Yeah, that's probably true. It needs true. to stop. We need to end it somewhere. <laughs> you know, in the in the Wikipedia entry on this, apparently there was a a little bit of a not an uproar, but uh, the the LBGTQ community had a problem. With this back in 1983, was there an no, LGBT? No, no, no. no, no. Oh. years later, because apparently this movie has a cult following. I was like, yeah, which cult is following yeah, this movie? And and it's apparently, a big thing at chiller conventions yeah, and stuff like that, that. You know, casting a trans person as a villain, they had a problem with. And I'm like, which I'm is sorry. funny because they really didn't cast a trans person. She's actually but, a girl. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's a female. So she's not guy, really trans, a girl. but. I don't know. It's it's one of those weird things. Like I guess at the end they make him trans or her trans yeah. or it. Them, it was, this movie was bizarre from 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 the ant in the beginning to the reveal at that, the end. It was that just bizarre. Ant was all in between. The ant, the ant was absolutely ridiculous. I think it's bizarre in a fun, stupid way. I enjoy it. Yeah, you know, it makes it. I think it's not. And she wasn't trans on her because of herself. She was forced forced to upon. It. Yeah, forced upon. Yeah. And who doesn't want two boys? I have two boys. They're fine. I mean, they're both idiots, but that, just dressing Logan up in girls' clothing was not going to make him not stupid. So I don't know. I don't know how he'd just be a dumb girl right now, walking around six foot tall, going, "Hey, I hope Leslie picks me up tonight for my date." <laughs> oh yeah, and did you see the t- there when they were playing capture the flag? There was mm-hmm. a one of my all-time favorite games. Three-year-old playing with them. <laughs> there, there's all these big kids, and then this, yeah, this tiny little, little two-foot-high three-year-old. Around. I thought that the baseball game was all lopsided as well. Like yeah. The kids versus like the uh, the council, but the, the kids won. Counselors. <laughs> Carmine Ragusa up there at bat. Like Michelle's like, why are they throwing the ball he so slow? I'm like, he, well, it's softball, but he was showing everything. You could see head on him. Oh you know yeah, I mean? Michelle actually asked me. He saw when a helmet. He came, I Michelle's saw helmet. like, <laughs> Michelle's like, isn't that uncomfortable when your dick's just like rubbing against the front of your shorts like that? I was like, I don't have that problem, but <laughs> this guy might. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh my god! I'm running when, out of notes. When here. the kids are on the roof throwing the water balloons at each other, and then. Angela walks by and they're like, Angela, Who? catch a water balloon with your face, Angela. Angela, can she catch Angela? What's her bro- uh, cousin's Ricky. name? Ricky. Ricky's like, you're going to put an eye out. I'm like, with a fucking water <laughs> balloon? I'm like, are they frozen? How are you going to put an eye out with a water balloon? I like it when Ricky told Angela, yeah, we were steadies. <laughs> we were steadies. <laughs> oh, with Judy, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah and Judy. Judy, but Judy filled out bitch. a lot over the uh, year. Well, they, all the girls Paul were telling him that. So, yeah. Oh, was it Paul that told him? Yeah. Paul said, yeah. where do you see Judy? Uh, you see Judy? 
Uh, oh yeah. One of my notes about Judy is uh, she's a proper Long Island whore. <laughs> A proper, <laughs> as, as opposed to an improper Long Island whore. So. That would be uh, Amy Fisher, right? Oh, Is that yeah. what her name was? That's right? true. Was Long she improper? Long Island Lolita. That's true. Was she improper? I don't think she did anything wrong. All right. I mean, we all have our opinions, right? I mean, <laughs> Mary Jo would probably argue with you on that. Probably. <laughs> probably. Oh, yeah. And how did Meg fall out of the shower at the exact Meg. time that Mel walked in. Yeah, well, right? she was being held up by the shower curtain, I guess. <laughs> yes. I don't know, but I noticed I noticed she grabbed the shower curtain as she fell. I'm yes. like, wait. Yep, she did. She, she wrote that she wrote and that down. She yeah. Oh, Meg, not you, Meg. No, <laughs> you not too, you, Meg. Meg. No. You were you were a good one, Meg. You were going <laughs> to yeah, sleep with one me. One of the good ones. <laughs> Oh, poor Meg. Meg was probably better off dead. Meg was about to get a nice that dinner. Guy sucked. Meg was going to get a nice dinner, and who knows what dessert was going to be for Meg? But I think it was going to be pretty, pretty good. I also have in big letters here out. Asia because one of those kids was wearing an oh, Asia, wearing an Asia t-shirt. t-shirt. Yes, oh, I had yes, one I of the one that. of the only I branding in this entire show. Look, was, I had the picture. There you go. One of the, the only picture. branding in the show was the Asia yeah. t-shirt. Yep. I was like, yeah, nice. I saw that. There oh wait, wait. Yep, I see it. And on the wall outside the bathroom, the lover boy poster. Yes. Lover boy. <laughs> the and there was another. Poster. Oh, there was a, another one, too. There was a Blue Oyster Cult t shirt, too. And oh, it might have been the same one. guy, but there was another I didn't feel poster that on the wall in the girl's bedroom. I could not remember. I can't remember what it was. There were some guys yeah. pictured there, but I, they never. The quality yeah. of the film was so poor, you couldn't make out that was that Burt Reynolds or. Oh, who are the girls Burt Reynolds in this, du- yeah. Dustin yeah. Burt Reynolds yeah. in this movie? Burt gets mentioned, but I like one of my favorite lines by Mel was. After the after they threw the water balloons at Angela, and he walks by, he says, "Better go change. You'll catch pneumonia. It's almost time to eat." <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> he's all over you'll the catch, place, and just you'll catch pneumonia. Is it you'll catch pneumonia. <laughs> Did I mention that Mel had a cigar in his hand the entire movie? Did the he, entire like, time. The entire and movie. Also, and lung cancer. Well, Did you know that Mike now. was such a wet kisser? Judy <laughs> said, "Do you have to kiss so wet? Oh, I heard it. We have to kiss so wet. Oh my god." <laughs> Not you, Meg. I'm just trying to make sure. Not you, Meg. Not you, Meg. Oh, no, not you, Meg. (laughs) Brian, this is for you. I just said so much man ass. Obviously, that was the scene where the boys were all skinny dipping. (laughs) Not one schwanz, but a bunch of ass. Yeah, what was it? Uh, Well, there was one. Yes. Wow! Well, yes. yes. good call. Said, good call. <laughs> it was one at the very end. We still need more babes. I mean, who wants to go skinny dipping with fifteen guys and only five girls? <laughs> I figure I could drown at least. Billy ten of those sure guys. did. <laughs> <laughs> and was it Paul's ass that uh, Mozart? Uh, oh, when he did the uh, lighter than a feather, heavier than a whatever the yeah, fuck, when and he sat up and yeah. his face went right into his ass crack, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which was that like was one funny. of those plot points that they never developed. Like, Mozart was that guy. The, were they trying to make that's the make one that they bullied? That, were they trying to make us think that Mozart might be the killer because he got the shaving cream in the face and the ass in the face and nobody possibly thought it was he was Mozart, playing the boxing right? game. Nobody thought it was nobody Mozart. thought it was Mozart. Did I didn't think, think it was Mozart did. either. I didn't think it was him. At, at one point early on, I thought it was the 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 ant the ant. All right, real quick, I want to ask Brian, what did you think when it, before it happened at the end? Uh, did you see anything like that coming? No, no, not at all. Anthony, did you see anything no. like that coming? I knew she was I the had murderer. No idea. But I didn't know why. I saw this I was movie. Torn. And like, I thought it was either the ant, I thought it was Ricky. And you were wondering why we wanted you to see the ending in this movie, <laughs> yes. right? <laughs> I saw this movie in like 1986. I remember at the time being shocked, but I'll tell you last night, I was watching with two other people. And their scores are affected by what happened that. at the end of that movie. <laughs> but I don't want to spoil that yet. Do we want to get scores. in the scores yeah. or no? Christine went nuts when that <laughs> scene. <laughs> and then when it happened, you were just like. Yes. She was uh, literally, she sat up and was yelling. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and what did Mari think? Uh, oh, Mari, Mari kept looking at me going like she's watching. I'm watching. She's watching and looking at me, and she kept going, "What the fuck? What? What the? What the? What the absolute fuck?" I'm like, "I, I I'm the first time I'm seeing it too." They I asked me know. to be on the podcast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Angela. I'm sorry. <laughs> now you sound like Tony from uh, Who's the Boss. That's how it sounded going, a lot I'm of the time. It was like, "Angela, you want Angela. me to vacuum the rug?" Angela, was, Angela. Ricky was playing a young Tony. <laughs> I thought about Tony Danza every time they said that. Doesn't this guy sound like Mark Wahlberg? Yo, Angela, how come you're so fucked up? (laughs) 
<laughs> Tell your mum I said hi. Yeah, say hello to your mother. <laughs> say hello to your mother. <laughs> All right, I'm going to rattle off some names now. Let me let me know if I got it right. Becky Lynn, Timmy Lynn. <laughs> um, we're going to get into scores. Yeah, we can get into scores. Michelle gave this a 10, a but 10. she said the last minute it goes up to a 20. Wow. She was like, I did not expect. She was like going like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> so Logan came in during the last five minutes of this movie. And I said, dude, sit down and just watch the last five minutes of this movie because I know what's coming up. You traumatized your son. So Logan yeah. sat down. and <laughs> He watched it. He screamed. And he's like, I give that movie a 97. <laughs> he says, just the right amount of fuzz. <laughs> now, at that time, he said, I'm taking three points off for the shitty mustache. That's why it's not 100. But then he corrected and said, I'm giving it three points off because it's not erect. <laughs> that was his scoring. So 97 and a 20 out of my family. Uh, I give this movie a 50. It was terrible to watch. I, I didn't have fun watching this. I, I mean, I had fun making fun of it, but like this has to be a movie you watch with a bunch of people and you're, I mean, this is a Rocky horror movie. Watch it all together and be stupid and watch it, but like watch it on the couch with my wife and I'm just like, ugh, I'm like, I'm not enjoying this movie. And so I, I'll never watch it again unless someday you're like driving, dude, we're going. I'm like, all right, driving, we're doing it. So that's my score. Well, I have a different score. What do you got? Surprising. Christine, so it's Christine's first. Christine's score is lower than mine. Not shocking at all. Uh, she gave it an 85. Ooh. And that's lower <laughs> than yours? I don't even understand the scoring system anymore here. <laughs> My score is a 90. Nice. Come on, man. I mean, you uh, watch this thing again? This, this, I will definitely be watching this again. <laughs> this movie's terrible. I love this movie so much it was insane the like i said i'm 13 minutes in i was just i said i can't believe i've never <laughs> seen this movie and i was so i was so happy watching this movie and, and then christine too i am, I am, like I am and I are laughing the baffled. whole time i'm I, i'm confused now i'm not gonna <laughs> give it that high a score i enjoy this movie i know it's a cult classic i i knew the ending going into it and everything I will watch this movie again. It would be fun as a group, especially at a drive-in. I like that idea. I give it a 75, though. Yeah. And what do you got going on over there in Colorado? The minute the movie ended and I stopped, she looked right at me. And she goes, <laughs> fuck you, Anthony. <laughs> she, first, she goes, tell those guys, fuck you for picking this movie. And she goes, tell those guys, a 1.5 out of 100. I'm like, oh, what? do you really want to say 1.5? One I'm like, where did the point five come from? She goes, I was being nice. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck oh, Mari. Okay. <laughs> and then she went to bed. For me, i would never seen this movie before. I'm going to give it a 60. And the only reason is because I'd never seen it before. And the ending just really just for 1983, the movie blew me away. I was I couldn't believe I was like, what in the absolute like mm -hmm. I, what the absolute fuck am I watching here? So I'm 60. glad that you guys got to see it. I'm glad that you love it as much as you uh, love I'm, it. Oh I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm it. perplexed I will by never your watch love it for this. Again. I love yeah, that's, that's me. I could see him like in like this every movie, minute yeah. of it. Like it never got bad. There was no slow part. Well, to say it never got bad, it started off terrible and it kept terrible the entire yes, way. It was the I, best. Yeah. Type it was of consistent. Bad. You it was consistent. Have. It was always throughout. bad, but it didn't veer from badness. It just no. stayed. It's... It was the perfect bad movie. Yeah. Like, if, and if based you... on the fact that none of these actors ever did anything again, and the none director never did anything again. And I think, didn't Jason say they murdered one of the people on the set? The old man, didn't they kill him? This was his last movie? Oh, yes. That is, the lung cancer killed him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't you know, know about how, that. I don't think it was the lung cancer. I think that's what they tell you now the lung cancer got him. They're like, it was kill either the lung Mel. cancer or Spreaker. <laughs> <laughs> Does Spreaker kill? Are you going to tell people to go to Spreaker and that kills people? <laughs> Holy shit, man. That's ballsy. Spreaker. And that's where you can get our podcast. <laughs> Download, rate, subscribe, review, do all those fun things. We're the exciting new podcast on all our socials. It's the Jazoo over there on Instagram, Jazoo74 on Twitter. This has been the exciting new podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy, a Gonzo one on 
Twitter, A. Gonzo 1970 on Instagram? Yes. 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 Thank you. And I'm Brian, Papa Bad Kitty. And I'm Anthony, A. Galetta Jr., everywhere. Thanks, Anthony. Absolutely, guys. Great time. <laughs>